In the dimly lit corridors of cinematic history, there exists a hidden gem that has left an indelible mark on those fortunate enough to stumble upon its enigmatic allure. Imagine, if you will, a convergence of music, mystery, and madness, all woven together in the mesmerizing tapestry of the 1974 masterpiece, Phantom of the Paradise. Cast your mind back to that moment when you first crossed paths with this cinematic enigma. Perhaps it was a late-night movie screening, the glow of the screen casting a spell over you. Or maybe you stumbled upon it while browsing the annals of film history, drawn in by the promise of something unique. And unique it was, for within its frames, you discovered a world where rock and roll and opera collided, where a Faustian tale unfolded with a symphony of satire and tragedy. Recall those memorable moments that you can never quite shake, the Phantom's haunting visage, both tragic and terrifying, the music that pulsated through your very veins, and the over-the-top spectacle that seemed to defy categorization. Was it the eerie allure of the Phantom's mask, the seductive chaos of the paradise, or the bittersweet crescendo of Winslow's journey that left an indelible mark on your cinematic soul? But enough reminiscing, for now, let's peel back the curtain and delve into the curious crevices of this cinematic marvel. Did you know that the film's creator drew inspiration from classic tales of the macabre and the music industry's cutthroat nature? And as we journey deeper, we'll unravel unexpected tidbits that shed light on the film's inception, casting choices, and the echoes of its influence that resonate even today. So, dear traveler through celluloid dreams, fasten your seatbelt as we embark on a journey through the labyrinthine corridors of Phantom of the Paradise. Be prepared to encounter the unexpected, the audacious, and the sublime. For in this world of enchantment and enigma, there's always more than meets the eye, just like the Phantom himself. And now, without further ado, let's pull back the curtain on those captivating facts that illuminate the shadows of this mesmerizing masterpiece, Phantom of the Paradise, Phantom of the Paradise, Phantom of the Paradise, unveiling homage in Phantom of the Paradise, an Orson Welles tribute in Brian De Palma's 1974 cult classic, Phantom of the Paradise, a subtle yet brilliant homage unfolds. The single edit sequence featuring a time bomb in the car trunk pays tribute to Orson Welles' iconic opening in Touch of Evil. De Palma deftly captures the tension and suspense of Welles' work, seamlessly incorporating it into his own narrative tapestry. This cinematic nod showcases De Palma's masterful craftsmanship, drawing parallels between two distinct films separated by years, yet united by a shared cinematic language. The tension mounts as the suspenseful sequence unfolds, mirroring Wells' gripping directorial style, a testament to the enduring influence of classic cinema on modern works. Beyond the cinematic homage, Phantom of the Paradise also boasts an intriguing box office legacy. Upon its release, the film faced a lukewarm reception, failing to resonate with audiences across North America, except in an unexpected haven, Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada. Here, the film defied its box office fate, captivating local audiences for months on end. The enigma of this Manitoba anomaly adds an intriguing layer to the film's legacy, hinting at the unpredictable nature of audience tastes. Amidst the film's whimsical narrative, an in-joke involving Swan and Winslow Leach's voices adds a touch of insider humor. As Swan adjusts Leach's voice, the singer's vocal cords are, in fact, those of Paul Williams himself. This clever touch creates a meta-moment, amplified when Swan declares the voice is perfect. It's a wink to the audience, a cinematic inside joke that adds depth to the film's quirky charm. Phantom of the Paradise remains a treasure trove of cinematic illusions, obscure box office tales, and playful on-screen nuances. In this symphonic blend of homage, anomaly, and jest, De Palma crafted a film that defies conventional categorization, continuing to intrigue and entertain audiences to this day. Day, 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 day. Betty Buckley's hidden vocals, unveiling the voice behind Phantom of the Paradise in the captivating world of Brian De Palma's 1974 film Phantom of the Paradise. A hidden vocal talent takes the stage, altering the auditory landscape of key sequences. Betty Buckley, known for her remarkable skills in ADR and voice work, silently weaved her vocal magic into the fabric of the movie. Although originally auditioning for a role, she found her niche as the voice behind pivotal moments, including the Swan Edge audition and the audacious orgy scenes. De Palma's decision to tap into Buckley's vocal prowess added an intriguing layer to the film's auditory mosaic. Her behind-the-scenes vocal contributions, often uncredited, cast a unique charm over the narrative, redefining character dynamics and intensifying the movie's emotional crescendos. It's a testament to De Palma's keen eye for talent that he recognized Buckley's ability to enhance the film's vocal tapestry. Buckley's role in Phantom of the Paradise extended beyond her hidden vocal performances. The synergy between director and talent continued as De Palma cast her as Miss Collins, the gym teacher, in his subsequent cinematic venture, Carrie, showcasing the seamless collaboration that had begun during the creation of Phantom. As the curtains rise and fall, revealing the cinematic marvels of Phantom of the Paradise, let us not forget the dulcet tones woven by Betty Buckley, a hidden force that left an indelible mark on the film's sonic landscape, rendering her a phantom songstress in her own right.
bird motifs take flight in Phantom of the Paradise in the mesmerizing world of the 1974 cult classic Phantom of the Paradise. Avian symbolism soars beyond the surface, a subtle undercurrent infusing the film's narrative. From character names like Phoenix and Swan to the delicate feathered accents adorning costumes, the pervasive presence of birds crafts a unique tapestry of meaning within the movie. Even the Death Records logo, a harbinger of doom in the story, takes the form of a bird. Director Brian De Palma weaves this motif intricately throughout, evoking a sense of both fragility and power. The Phantom's enigmatic costume, reminiscent of a bird of prey, lends an air of mystique to his character. The attire of Phoenix transforms as she does, evolving from innocence to a striking feathered jacket, mirroring her journey from obscurity to the spotlight. A fascinating tidbit uncovered by film critic Danny Peary reveals that the film's title could have been drastically different. In his book Cult Movies 2, Peary uncovers that the original title The Phantom faced opposition from King Features Syndicate, responsible for the The Phantom comic strip. The syndicate's demand for a more distinctive title to avert confusion with their copyrighted character led to the birth of the longer, more enigmatic title that graces the film. Amid the glitz and glamour, the toll of the creative process becomes apparent. Jarrett Graham, who portrayed the flamboyant beef, found himself battling illness during the filming of the pivotal life at last scene. His struggle to walk, concealed behind the exuberant performance, adds an unanticipated layer of reality to the fantasy world. Phantom of the Paradise remains an emblem of the 1970s creative and cinematic experimentation. Through its bird motifs, title evolution, and the unforeseen challenges of its cast, the film captures the essence of artistic risk and reward. A testament to the era's daring spirit, the movie continues to captivate audiences, its feathers of fascination unruffled by the passage of time, 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 time. In a mesmerizing blend of music, cinema, and fate, the 1974 cult classic film Phantom of the Paradise offers a tapestry of fascinating anecdotes behind its creation. At the heart of the movie lies a chilling scene where William Finley's character, Winslow Leach, meets a horrifying fate in a record press. Astonishingly, the peril within that press was no fabrication. According to Finley himself, the machine was a real injection molding press, located at the Ideal Toy Company plant. A nerve-wracking ordeal unfolded during filming as the press, initially deemed safe, revealed its sinister power. The press, armed with foam pads and restraining chocks, proved formidable. In an unplanned twist, the relentless press crushed its restraints, inching closer to Finley's head. His agility saved him from grave harm, narrowly escaping the press' ominous embrace. The blood-curdling scream that echoed was not mere acting but a genuine reaction to impending danger. Amidst the film's narrative, the enigmatic electronic room where Winslow Leach crafts his symphony and regains his voice is a realm of both fantasy and reality. The iconic setting is no Hollywood illusion but a tangible space, the renowned recording studio, the record plant. Its walls adorned with an intricate array of knobs, in truth, envelop a colossal Moog electronic synthesizer christened TONTO. This remarkable instrument was not confined to the screen, it resonated through pioneering electronica compositions of TONTO's expanding headband. Even today, TONTO maintains its presence, enshrined at the National Music Center in Calgary, Canada. Artists still have the privilege of harnessing its creative potential. Beyond the celluloid, Phantom of the Paradise casts a wide-reaching influence, capturing the imaginations of unexpected admirers. The acclaimed duo Daft Punk, in an interview with the New York Times, confessed their deep-seated reverence for the film. With unwavering zeal, they declared it their favorite film and a cornerstone of their artistic journey. This love affair culminated in over 20 viewings and a profound impact on their creative ethos. The film's musical mastermind, Paul Williams, reciprocated this synergy by contributing to Daft Punk's album Random Access Memories, forming an artistic bridge between eras and genres. As the curtain falls on Phantom of the Paradise, its legacy remains indelible, a tale of real dangers, tangible synesthetic realms, and a mutual artistic admiration that transcends time. A film where reality and imagination interweave, leaving an everlasting mark on the world of cinema and music, and music, and music. As we bid adieu, the timeless allure of Phantom of the Paradise lingers, much like a haunting melody that refuses to fade into the background. Just as Winslow Leach's music echoed through the hallowed halls of the paradise, the film's impact resonates through the corridors of our minds. A tapestry of rock opera, horror, and satire, it weaves a unique spell that captures hearts even decades later. As the curtain falls on our discourse, take a moment to reflect on your own journey with this cinematic gem. What chords did it strike within you? Did it kindle a passion for theatricality, an appreciation for its offbeat narrative, or perhaps an admiration for the remarkable soundtrack? Whether you found solace in its eccentricity, inspiration in its creativity, or simply delight in its unabashed uniqueness, Phantom of the Paradise has left an indelible mark on celluloid history. Your personal connection is the final note that completes this symphony of reminiscence. Share your cherished memories, your thoughts that dance like shadows across the screen. Let the world know how this peculiar masterpiece touched your soul.
In the grand theater of our collective memory, Phantom of the Paradise remains a star that shines with an eternal radiance. Thank you for joining us on this journey through its corridors and catacombs as we explore the enigmatic blend of music, madness, and artistry that defines it. Until we gather again to unravel the threads of cinematic wonder, may the spirit of Winslow Leach haunting melodies guide your thoughts and musings. Farewell for now, and remember, every voice deserves to be heard in the grand chorus of nostalgia. Share your own tale of connection, and let the legend of Swan's Paradise live on. Yours in cinephile camaraderie, your name, your name, your name.